Hi and welcome to my first uh, cooking in the camper van video blog and um, it's a bit of an experiment lighting is low in here um, so I hope this works I hope you can see what's going on and um, if you don't know me I'm James and I'm traveling with my family and I do most of the cooking and so I thought I'd share a bit of what I do um, it's not really um, uh, different to I guess what a lot of families would cook but I'm in a smallish space so what we're cooking today is vegetable soup for the kids and um, there's two approaches to vegetable soup I would say one is to blend the living daylights out of it so that it doesn't have any vegetable rec any recognizable vegetable signature whatsoever you just need a kind of savory yummy taste or you can uh, chop stuff up really small and make it kind of cute vegetable soup so that's what we're trying to do today so I've got uh, in this pan in fact over here so I'm in my little kitchen I've got uh, three gas rings one of which doesn't really work um, so in here I've got some chopped up onions sizzling away I've got some hot water in the kettle all ready to go for the soup and over here I've got um, tiny chopped carrots and tiny chopped potatoes and I'm going to be adventurous and stick some red cabbage in as well maybe a bit of cabbage a bit of sorry uh, spinach that's left over see how things go the idea is if you chop it up small enough they can't really pick it all out so they've got to eat it so we'll see right, how it goes so I've got the um, potatoes and carrots simmering away with the, um, with the onions and so now it's time to add some veggie stock. I've got these little callow um, veggie stock cubes. And I'm also going to stick in, because it needs using up, um, some of this pesto rosso, which is actually just some dried tomatoes in a jar, as far as I can tell. Um, and there we go, and uh, let's keep going. So when I'm cooking, I, um, I have a big five litre water tank um, canister, which I use rather than the tap in the motorhome because the tap is just not fast enough. It just takes ages to fill a kettle or whatever. But my canister has just been um, common, uh, borrowed, I think is the word, for playing with sandcastles and water outside. So, um, so now I'm going to have to go back to the tap. Right, where were we? So. There we go. So my kettle is now full of water. I've crumbled two stock cubes into there. So I'm going to add in, I don't know, enough water so it's all covered up. We can always add in more later. Let me just turn this so you can see. There we go. So I'm going to turn up the heat a bit because I didn't want to burn it before. I just want you to be able to see what's going on. So I've got two crumbled up stock cubes two because I always make quite a bit of soup there's not much point making a little bit when you're making homemade soup is there and I'm going to let that bubble away and while it's bubbling away I'm going to put a lid on it to keep well uses less energy but also makes things cook quicker and I'm going to go and chop some red cabbage to put in it all these veggies Carrots and red cabbage, I think, are from my mum's garden, from grandma's garden in Wrightington. So that's another reason why the kids are going to have to eat it, basically. Okay, so I've chopped up a quarter of this cabbage. I'm not going to do more because cabbage just goes on and on when you like start chopping it up. And I don't want this cabbage to dominate the soup, or it's just going to make things go wrong. Now, this soup is kind of inspired from one of those um, Baxter's like scotch broth or something like that. And they have like little pearl barley in. I don't have any of that, um, but it always goes down well. Uh, I don't even have any little bits of couscous or anything like that. But what I do have is spaghetti, although this is actually fancy spaghetti called bucatini. I'm going to chop it up and put it in. And then there'll be some extra carbohydrates as well for us that like that sort of thing. Right, just been experimenting. Best way to make this work get your spaghetti, get a pair of scissors, chop it up straight into the pan because frankly trying to chop it with a knife you just end up 
spraying the interior of the camper van with bits of spaghetti, which is not what you want to do, really. Um, so, as this cooks, it's going to absorb water, so I'm going to need a bit more water. And we're a um, vegetarian family, so typically in a kind of scotch broth or something, you would stick in like a, some pieces of beef or some beef uh, stock. I don't have that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a little bit of organic soy mince for texture and I'm going to uh, stick in some soy sauce which will just help it give that sort of bit more savoury edge that you won't get with just the stock cubes. Let's keep going. Hi there. Um, Hi there. Soy sauce. Yeah, I've got my daughter over here who's imitating me doing a video blog so the extra commentary is from her. So I put this soy, this soy sauce and soy mince in. This stuff, if you're a meat eater and this stuff scares you, it's made out of beans. It's not scary. It's okay. It's um, sort of bean juice that's been squeezed and dried and then you rehydrate it and it... I mean, it's not beef, but it's, it's tasty and it will um, add this sort of different texture to go with the squeeze, squidgy vegetables and the and the, um, pasta which I'm still chopping up because you can only do about four strands at a time otherwise it breaks the scissors. Okay, I'm sorry, what do you want to tell all the people? All the ten people who are ever going to see this? What do you want to tell them? Who are they? I don't know, who are you? Why are you watching this anyway? Um, uh, this has just been going on for like five minutes, so I'll just let you have a little. Um, and uh, and uh, we bought a tent, and, and uh, I have a doll, and um, I'm coloring, and my daddy has um, a shave, and I'm, and I'm hard, and my leg is. Uh, feeling better today because, um... Okay, this has been going on for like 10 minutes. Anyway, let's just look at the food. So, I think the main problem with this food is that the orange and the red cabbage... The orange carrot and the red cabbage clash. Food that clashes, that's bad. Yeah. So, I'm going to try and balance it up by putting some green in. Who knows? Okay, so that's shredded spinach It's going in. Excuse me, Miriam. Right. We'll stick the... Stick the spinach in there. I mean, these are like this is the kind of size pieces that I'm aiming for, right? You know, like teeny weeny. At least one of the kids likes spinach, but the other one's going to try and pick it out. So make it small, make it difficult. So in the end, if I'm going to put this in, it's actually going to turn into a kind of minestrone feel. That's okay. I'm staying flexible here, you know. The scotch broth was just a. Just um, a feeling, you know, how things might go. Yeah, so uh, we'll stick this in, and my daughter is still taking the Mickey. Okay, so pretty much done here. Soon we're going to be feeding it to the kids, seeing how things go. So actually, adding the red pesto stuff has sort of saved it aesthetically because it's given it this sort of minestrone feel. Red cabbage kind of disappears into the the colour now, whereas before it just looked odd. So. I um, think it's going to go well, um, but you know, we'll interview the kids maybe when we've, um, when we've uh, fed it to them. If it goes really badly, then we're not going to do an interview. We'll just show you pictures of us crying, okay? Bye. So, well, I like the soup. Let's see what the rest of the family thought. Miriam, is the soup good? Yes. Nathaniel, marks out of 10,000. 10,000. 10, wow, thank you. <laughs> Laura, how did you like the soup? It was great. I've had three bowls full. Yummy. Samuel. Oh, that okay. would be a so zero. The soup has gone down mostly okay. One of my customers is not really happy at all, hasn't eaten any of it. So, we're going to stay flexible. We've had an interview, we've tried to work out what's wrong, and the wrongness is the bits. So, we're going to. Turn it into velouté de minestrone. We're just gonna nuke it. So the machine we're using is called a Nutribullet. 
it has uh, it's not really designed for soup it's more like smoothies but what it does do is make very very smooth creamy soup and like almost like you bought it in a shop which is what the kids want so let's here we go hi there people who watch my video blog on cooking so the end of the experiment is that actually I've nuked the um, the soup looks horrible but believe it or not the unhappy customer is now a satisfied customer says it's edible and then even good so you know I got a tip when I was first a parent which is you know once when it involves getting food inside your children the gloves are off you can do anything cheat lie just get it in them and this even destroying your own food in a food processor it's all good so kiddies um do you want to wave goodbye Bye. and this is also signing off from a uh, sunny day in the lake district the end of september so it's a winner isn't it